1986, I had Christopher. At that time, uh, just before he was born, not too long before he was born, we had bought a house. We had the um, American dream. We had a house in the suburbs. We had two cars. He had his stereo system. He has to have his music. I had my sewing machine. Um, and we could buy the things that we wanted. But we weren't paying our tithes regularly. Um, after I had Christopher, um, I had went on maternity leave. When I returned to my job, I found out that my job had been phased out. That was half of our income gone. We lost the house. We had to turn in the good car and kept, and kept our little yellow Pinto. movement back into mom's house. It was very, uh, a very humiliating thing, um, shameful to us. But God is faithful. He pointed out our sin. We confessed it. And started paying our tithes regularly. When we did that, God started reestablishing us, reestablishing our credit, <laughs> which was shock. In spite of that, God was faithful. Um, when Christopher was four years old, we were in mom's house living with mom. I was pregnant. I didn't know at the time I was pregnant with twins, but there was a couple in the house who um, were military people and they were being reassigned to Germany. And they had to get, needed to get out of their lease. So we, we assumed their lease and moved into the apartment um, without any credit, with bad credit. Um, we moved into the apartment. It was a one bedroom apartment. We slept in the bedroom. Christopher slept on the couch. Um, the furniture that they had given us, because we had no money to buy furniture. We lived in a, next door to a crackhead. And every now and then you could hear gunshots, but God kept us. Um, I believe within six months, God moved us into a three bedroom apartment the same way. We, didn't have, we still had bad credit, no credit. And another couple moved out of another apartment and we assumed their lease. God is faithful. When I was six months, I found out I was pregnant with twins. Now, um, before, I found, uh, before I even found out I was pregnant with the twins, we had just started talking about having another child, one. And I hadn't really settled the issue at the time. When I found out I was pregnant, I cried, I boohooed because I, I didn't want to be. I had just gotten back into my clothes I didn't feel like going through the changes that you go through, the, the copper penny taste in your mouth and being hot and then being cold and food not tasting right, that's just the whole schmoo. Um, but God had different plans and I, I'm so happy for my children, I love them dearly, each and every one of them. <laughs> um, but you sure cannot be a coward in being a mother. But I didn't want to make the same mistakes that my parents did. Uh, for a while, after Christopher got older, there were things that he would say and then things in ways that he would respond to me that I did not like. And I did not respond the way that I needed to. I would get mad, I would holler at him. I didn't hit him, but I, I just, I didn't, couldn't, understand why he was responding that way. When eventually God told me, he's just like you. So I said, Ooh, okay. So I had to change the way that I responded to him. 
and, I, and it helped me to see even where he was coming from, why he said the things that he said and did the things that he said, said because <laughs> he's like me. And I saw myself doing that to my son, and I had to change. I had to submit to God to that. I didn't want him to be scarred. Or, and I wanted to have a healthy relationship with all of my children. I want them to be able to come to me and talk to me about anything. To ask me a question at any time, even if it is convenient. Even if I'm feeling grumpy at the time, then I cast it off on them, you know. Not to go off on them. I thank God for my husband. He's a very patient man. And he has done a lot to, he was very nurturing, not only of my children, but of me. Um, taking the time uh, to point out things in my life that were harmful to me and to help me work through them. Thank you, babe. Because of uh, the things that had went on before I left home to go to college, um, I had a strained relationship with my mother as well as my dad. I had stopped talking to my dad after he left because he left us. So I was mad at him. So for a long time, I didn't talk to either one of them. Um, when I found out about forgiveness and the need to forgive, um, I wrote my dad a letter asking him to forgive me because of uh, my reaction uh, to him leaving. Uh, that I wanted to start a relationship with him again. For 30 years, God let the tares and the wheat grow together. Then the time of harvest, he separated the tares from the wheat. I, even had a chance to talk with his girlfriend a little bit. I don't hate her. They made bad decisions, but I didn't want to make another bad decision by continuing to hate them and holding them in unforgiveness. <laughs> now reconciled with the past, I'm ready for the future. I can pass a godly heritage to my natural and my spiritual children.